Welcome back to Asian Beauty Secrets, the podcast where you'll get the insider tips on Asian beauty regimens from me, Dr. Tio Wan Lin, founder of Dr. TWL Dermaceuticals. Today, we'll be covering some must-haves on my 2023 skincare essentials list. Beginning with the serum. What exactly is a serum? Well, a serum is essentially a concentrate or an essence that can be water-based or oil-based. But in the context of K-beauty, serums are almost always water-based. Facial oils are more of a thing in Western formulations. But that's a topic for another episode. What we are going to focus on today are the elixirs of K-beauty encapsulated in tiny glass dropper bottles. And by tiny, we mean volumes that typically range from 15 to 30 mils. That, ironically, is also the easiest way for a layperson to identify a serum in the glorious world we must call too many skincare steps. Anyway, the point here is that serums do have a distinct function. Serums are created to be highly concentrated and facilitate intense delivery of a specific active or actives. These tend to be most stable in water bases and as a result, it is more efficiently delivered in a serum form rather than diluted in a moisturizer which has an oil in water base. Serums are also regarded as lightweight and readily absorbed into skin. They should also be applied before any cream or lotion-based skincare product. One of my favorite must-have active ingredients that I look up for in serums is resveratrol, a potent antioxidant derived from grapes which I'm sure if you are a beauty fiend like me, you must already know about. But that's not the point. There is a hidden Asian beauty secret here, which I'm about to share. K-beauty formulas use trans resveratrol instead of resveratrol. You may be wondering what the differences are. Well, they are similar in its effect except that there is possibly a higher bioavailability and a rate of absorption with transresveratrol compared to conventional resveratrol. In addition, it is extracted from the Japanese knotweed plant, which itself is a rich source of other polyphenols and skin-loving flavonoids. We're now going to move on to number two on the skincare essentials list. And as you may have rightly guessed, that's your moisturizer. Not just any moisturizer, but K-beauty moisturizers, which are usually formulated as lightweight emulsions rather than creams. Emulsions are also known as lotions, which means that compared to traditional moisturizing creams, such as formulations uh, which contain a lower proportion of grease and oil compared to the aqueous component, uh, which is essentially how dermatologists describe the proportional water used in the skincare formula. The key here is to understand that all skincare active ingredients require a solvent in order that it be effectively absorbed. And in this case, water is regarded as a universal solvent. It is also important that there is a component of oil or grease in order to increase the occlusivity of the product, which in turn enhances absorption of the active ingredient. I'm going to break down some important terms here. When it comes to understanding skincare formulations, dermatologists are concerned about firstly, how effectively the active ingredient is carried in the vehicle. For instance, ceramides, which are fatty lipids that repair the skin barrier, are best incorporated in cream or ointment formulas rather than in serums. 
hyaluronic acid or polyglutamic acid ought to be dissolved in aqueous solutions and can be in a more concentrated form, say when delivered in a serum or facial mist, as opposed to a more dilute formula in an emulsion. The second concern dermatologists have is the cosmetic acceptability of the product. By that, we mean whether it feels comfortable in skin or feels oily or sticky. K-Beauty products fare excellently in this department. Day moisturizers, for example, are most commonly in an emulsion form. That means they are lightweight enough on skin so it doesn't end up feeling sticky throughout the day especially when mixed with sweat, grime, and makeup. Yet, there is just the right proportion of oil or ceramide component in the formula that it effectively reduces water loss to the environment, a phenomenon known as transepidermal water loss. This is especially critical in air-conditioned environments and um, for those who live in temperate climates. Um, there is increased transepidermal water loss, which is essentially a form of evaporation that further weakens the skin barrier. Emulsion and lotion, well, these terms are often used interchangeably as they refer to the texture of the product. So let's recap. A vehicle in the context of skincare formulations refers to the solvent used in order that active ingredients can be applied and absorbed by skin. Water is a universal solvent, meaning that most actives can be diluted and applied in a liquid form. The science of topical application in dermatology must not be overlooked. A big no-no when it comes to moisturizing skincare is, well, you may have guessed, powders. Which is probably why you've never heard of a moisturizing powder, for instance. But on a serious note, powders do serve a function. And I'm not talking about dubious baby powder, but face powders. You know, the loose powder we use to set our makeup? Well, it is thought of primarily as serving a cosmetic function, for instance, by reducing shine on our skin, etc. If you choose the correct loose powder, it can actually help to reduce skin oiliness. Loose powders that contain zinc can regulate oil production. And this is especially helpful for those with combination or oily skin. Um, and that brings us to number three on our skincare essentials list, powder. This isn't actually a part of skincare per se. Rather, powders fall under the category of makeup. But did you know that K-Beauty was the first to popularize makeup with skincare benefits? That was the first edition of the BB cream, which are beauty balms that correct blemishes. These BB creams contain antioxidants and some level of SPF, although it must be stressed that bona fide Asian beauty enthusiasts know never to use BB cream as your one and only sunscreen. I mean, is there such a thing as too much sunscreen? Well, more on that later, but Back to BB creams, after BB creams came the CC creams, which stood for color correcting plus the previous benefits attached to BB creams. Best of all, with even more skincare goodies. The Cell Talk Cosmeceutical CC Cream from our pharmacy, for instance, boasts an impressive list of seven clinically active potent antioxidants that ensures your skincare makeup goes a long way. 
Well, that about sums up this week's episode on Little Bird Whispers Asian Beauty Secrets. I hope you've enjoyed my list of skincare essentials for 2023, and do visit our podcast website, which is packed with even more Asian beauty goodies for our listeners to enjoy. We also have a free, beautiful, printable journal with a gorgeous floral theme to help kickstart your 2023 beauty resolutions. So do check out our website at www.asianbeautywhispers.com for more.